Easy now. Falls off, it'll be all over. Broken neck ain't gonna get you out of this fast. Hurry it up, bud. It'll be light soon. It's a long way back. Get yours, bud. You'll get what's coming to you. Ain't nothing coming to me, Joe, except a large hunk of the 46 connected. Have a nice trip, Joe. Thank. Only reason you're alive is they wanted to hang you slow. Yeah. No horse? I'm walking. In this county? Yeah. You can tell me who you are when you're ready. <laughs> but I'm two inches taller now. What do they have against you? My land. The best land in the valley. All of them trying to get it like a pack of wolves. The 46 Connected Ranch, ever hear of it? No. Been on it more than 30 years. Fought the Indians for it then. Trouble is, none of the land around here has ever been filed. Now all the little guys want to get big quick by killing me and taking over what's mine. They've already killed one big rancher, Gid Blake. You know how they got away with it? How? <laughs> By calling themselves vigilantes. They make themselves the law. And there's no law to hold them in check. It's Russ Nevers. He's the one. He's the only one with brains enough to organize them and make killers out of them. Well, if you go back, you're a dead man. What am I going to do? Just give it all up just like that? There's more than 30,000 head of cattle on the 46. I've told you a lot, friend. I'm Utah Blaine. What are you giving me? Utah Blaine is in old Mexico, mixed in that revolution I heard. Across the border a week ago. Like that? Yeah, like this. I was supposed to face a firing squad down there. Only the jail didn't hold together long enough. Want a job? I got a job. I'll pay you more. This job doesn't pay any money. <laughs> Working for nothing? You didn't make that much money in Mexico. Fella that sold me out did. You're hunting somebody. You ever heard the name Rink Witter? Rink Witter was with that bunch that tried to string me up tonight. What's your town? Red Creek, over the ridge. Play along with me and you can have Rink. He's a gun hand for Russ Nevers. What's the deal? Go back to Red Creek as manager for the 46. You'll get 100 a month in an outfit, plus $1,000 expense money. Clear this up, you get 1,000 head of cattle to start your own spread or sell. You walk, we can't stay here. Sure. Railroad crosses the mountains about six miles back. We can reach El Paso and draw the papers up proper. One thing more, you'll need information. See a man named Ben Kenyon. He's a friend of mine from the old Indian days. Don't do anything till you see him. Remember the name. Ben Kenyon. I remember.
for a man named Ben Kenyon. Where do I find him? You better hurry. Over that way beyond the church. Thanks. I've seen him before. I've seen him before someplace. Ben Kenyon. What did you want with Ben Kenyon? If he's here, I'll talk to him. Yesterday, you could have talked to him. Not now. At his grave? I don't know you, mister. Leave me alone. Maybe there's an excuse for you not knowing she's Ben's daughter. Now you know. Go away. Joe Neal didn't tell me Kenyon had a daughter. You said Joe Neal. You're lying. Joe Neal is dead, killed like my father. Didn't I tell you to clear out? The funeral ain't no place for trouble, mister. What happened to Ben Kenyon? Ambushed, out on 46 land. Never had a chance. Now will you go? What about Joe Neal? Well, I'll tell you this much, he's alive. The rest I'd better tell to you, nobody else. You didn't say who you are. That's right, I didn't. Tom. Get my horse. Angie, you're not riding out of here with any stranger. You're coming with me to the bee bar and we'll... Thanks, Mary. I'll talk with you. Mister, I warn you, if anything happens to her... You think the way things are in this valley, those will do any good? He's looking for trouble, sure enough. It was out there, that's where it was. I remember now. Man, what's Utah Blaine doing here? Utah Blaine? Yeah. More than a thousand miners are raising Holy Ned. Out there was a hole, a real stinking hole, till they called him in. Yeah, that's where it was, out there, when he had his guns tied down. It looks like you're gonna see it again, too. You tie him down like a professional gunslinger. That just for show? Coming? Andy, you can't go with him. He'll be at my place. further this place of yours? Far into the 46 range. Another three miles. They're watching us. They're wondering who you are. Wondering who dare take up with Ben Kenyon's daughter. Think they'd shoot you? I don't know. Well, don't stop till you get to your place. Boundary the 46? Well, north boundary. Why? Anybody riding up's on Joe Neal's land. First, no one's taking the 46 away from Joe Neal. Made me manager to see to it. You out of your mind? You 
expect to hold out against Russ Nevers and his bunch all by yourself? That's what he's paying me for. Who in blue blazes are you? Blaine. Mike Blaine. Up at all of they started calling me Utah. I was right. A professional gunslinger. I want nothing to do with you, mister. Get out. I was expecting help from your father. Now it has to be you. A professional gunman killed my father. Rink Witter? How'd you know that? Can you prove it? No. Who are the vigilantes? Nevers heads him up. Then there's Clell Miller, Lud Fuller, Farragut. Oh, about eight or ten others. Miller's the foreman at the B bar. That's uh, Gid Blake's place. Yeah, that was Gid Blake's daughter you met at the cemetery. What about her? They all want the 46. Maybe even Mary Blake. I don't know. They say Joe Neal's dead. How would you know different? I left him in El Paso where he signed the papers making me manager. Russ Nevers. See what they want. What do you want? Somebody rode out here, Angie, would you? Where is he? You come out just to say hello. No. We come out just to have you vacate 46 land. Now we gave you and your old man fair warning. And if I don't, I'll be killed like he was? The 46 is going to be split up, Angie, and there's no longer any room for you. So you better start packing your things now. We we'll wait. Stage out of town at 4.30, and you're going to be on it. I don't see a rink with her. Well, now, maybe that's because he ain't here. Who are you? Just tell rink for Utah Blaine is here. And this is your fair warning. Stay off this range. <laughs> <laughs> You must have a right to give that gun order, son. Yeah, I'm the new manager. I'm riding into town tomorrow morning to file my papers at the bank. They're signed legal by Joe Neal. <laughs> For your information, Joe Neal is dead. And if you got any papers, they're forged. And we don't like forgers. Now, do I make myself clear? Ha! Ha! I heard Rink Witter talking. He says he's faster than you are. We'll find out. Yeah, we'll find out. In the meanwhile, get off of 46 range and stay off. And another thing, copies of my papers have been sent to the Capitol. The governor isn't too busy, there'll be an investigation. Now get them out of here. Clell? He's dead. Give me a hand, Fuller. <coughs> Lane ain't a hand left on the 46. Just thought you ought to know that. You're all alone. bother you as long as you think my papers are in the Capitol. Think your papers are in the Capitol. Wouldn't done any good to register them. But it'll bluff Nevers for a while and give us some time. They'll stop you somehow. They'll never let you get to that bank in the morning. I wish I could say there were a lot of decent people around here you're fighting for, but I can't. 
They're all land hungry. They're all greedy. All you can do is teach him a lesson. Or get yourself killed. Not much to offer a man who gets paid for using his guns. It's no different any place. Everybody wants what he hasn't got. But it'll change. People have to live by the rules. That won't bring my father back. It's lonely out where he is. It's even lonelier being alive. You go back to the 46 tonight, they could murder you in your bed. There's nobody there to back you up. You're welcome to use my father's room for tonight. I could spell you while you get some rest. Well, thank you. Uh, first, I'd like to check Joe's inventory on the ledgers. You said your father kept the books. Yeah, uh, father used to do a lot of figuring for Joe. You insisting on trying to reach that bank in the morning? Well, I have to let him know sooner or later who's running the 46. Well, the ledgers are in the basement. I'll get them whenever you want. All right now. I've been doing this since I was eight years old. You stay, I know the layout. It's probably the big cat that's been raiding down out of the hills the last couple of weeks. All right. Don't make any noise. I don't want to hurt you. No noise, no noise at all. What do you want here? Nevers told me about Blaine. Only Blaine was another 46. You expect him to sit there waiting while you come to ambush him? He's hunting me. But you see, I like to do the hunting. Now I find him, I give him his chance, then I kill him. You don't intend to give him a chance. That's why you're hunting him at night. An idea is in your place. You give me the kind of a warning, Angie. I'll kill you. <laughs> Something to laugh about? I can just see Angie Kenyon letting a strange man stay in her cabin all night. Well, now, maybe he ain't there. <laughs> then again, maybe you're lying, huh? Are you? Go up on the knoll. You can look down in the cabin and see for yourself. We both go up on the knoll. All right? <laughs> <laughs> go down closer and look if Blaine's there maybe he'll see you first you see Blaine you tell him ring widows on him you tell him that certain rink witter will be in Red Creek, waiting for you in the morning. How do you know that? If he hadn't scared the horses, he would have killed you tonight. Shot you through the window, I guess. Where'd you go? Well, after you went outside and the horses still acted up, I knew it wasn't a cat. The cat would have taken off. So I went outside to see. I saw you up on a knoll. I thought you were up there with a friend. Yeah, I wanted him up on that knoll, with the moon in back of him. If I could have warned you, you would have had a clear shot. You can't fight them all in town tomorrow. 
Nevers might send Rink after me at night, but not in town in the daylight. I hope you're right. I hope you come back. I'll come back. I said for you kids to get off the street. Bob Blaine's coming to the bank this morning. Where is he? He'll be here. Now, let me worry about that. You didn't get Blaine last night. All right. But I don't want to see you getting gun crazy now. We're going to do things the way I got them set up. You understand? You know, Blaine's outsmarting you. Governor ain't going to horn in down here. No? Well, maybe not. But I'm paying for your guns, and I want you to leave them right where they are unless I tell you to use them. I feel him, Gus. I don't like him, Nevers. I never set out to kill a man in my life. No? Well, there's two men that died by your fists that I know of. No, that was different. I didn't set out to do it. You don't want to stay working in that dry goods store all your life, do you? You want some of that 46 land, don't you? Well, all you have to do is to keep Blaine from getting into the bank. Hey, Nevers. It's coming. All right, Gus. good store. I don't mean nothing against you. Just I can't let you go no further. Never send you out here? I ask you peaceful. Go away. Stay out of Red Creek. You know what they want, Ortman? They want an excuse. They want me to gun you so they can kill me for shooting an unarmed man. What you gonna do? Conduct a little business at the bank. Blaine, I can't let you. Then stop me. You gonna fight me? It's up to you. I can't let! Territory. Anybody want me to prove it? Coker, your life ain't gonna be worth one red cent around here. In that case, maybe you fellas better just chuck your guns out in the middle of the road. 
Shut up! Do what you have to, Utah. You haven't backed me up like this since Alder three years ago. You must like the rough end. Matilda here kind of evens things up. Keep going, Coker. You can go clear to California. I couldn't stop you. Just don't try changing your mind. All right, fellas, just relax, and our little visit will be practically painless. I just filed my papers with the bank. I'm running the 46 for Joe Neal. All trails crossing the 46 are closed. As of now. How'd you get out of that Mexican jail, Utah? I just told them I wanted to kill you. They let me out. Pick up your gun. Think I'm crazy? As soon as I kill you, Coca cuts loose with that shotgun. Some other time, amigo. All right? Pick him up. <laughs> you ready? Where are we going? Could be any place. That's one place I've never been. I'll be with you. Blaine? I'm glad you beat me. I don't want any pot of nevers in these gunslingers. I'll get mine without having blood on my hands. I'm going with you. Get your horse. admit I didn't figure on Coker doing what he did. But we're still a bunch of knotheads to let Blaine get in that bank and get out of town. Well, he still can't hold the 46 with only Ortman and Coker to help him. Well, you don't think he's stupid enough to try, do you? Blaine's not the kind of man to go out there and sit still while we nail him. Lud, you take six or seven good men and go after Blaine, and don't come back here without his hide. And remember, you messed up hanging Joe Neal. Now, don't mess up bringing in Blaine. You can't take over anything as long as Neal's alive. Well, don't you think I know that? By the time we're ready for him, he won't be alive. Frank, that's your job. How am I going to find him? Neil could be anywhere. That's right. But Blaine's papers in there are going to tell us where Joe Neal had him drawn up. And that'll give us a pretty good place to start. at the bank. Oh, good. I didn't expect company. They think Joe Neal has a right to keep his land. Mary Blake, too. Never is going to take the 46 and the V-bar. Oh, I kind of expected that. You riding with Utah? Yeah. Then it's like you said it would be. You're on the run. They'll be after us as soon as they're ready. Come on inside. I got some food ready. I only brought up enough food for Utah. 
Why don't you go down and get what you need? Thanks, Angie. You can't keep running from Nevers. He'll be seeing me. I'm glad Coker and Gus will be with you. It's going to be lonely staying here alone. I knew what it'd be like this morning, the minute you left for town. We'll need you, Angie. We may be out for weeks. We'll need supplies, ammunition. You're the only one we can count on to get the stuff. I'll be here if you need me. Look, I know this is uh, nothing for a woman to be mixed up in, but that's the way it happened. I wish you could be out of it. Well, here's half a hand. Some bacon. Thank you. tracks lead here. They lead away, too. You'd see them if you had any eyes in your head. Look around. What good's Blaine gonna do you running the way he is? If you're crazy, you'll get close enough to ask him. They lead this way. follow us this far before they have to stop because they can't find the tracks at night. Where will we be? Doubling back to the B-Bar. The B-Bar? Yeah. We'll split up here and go out in three different directions. we we'll meet at Tule Mesa. That'll give them something to think about and they'll try and pick up our trail in the morning. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> Sleep. Rip, you take the bunkhouse. Gus, you take the corral. All right.
Don't scream. I want to talk to you. Get dressed. You're leaving the B bar. What? Nevers and your foreman are in this together. Look, Blaine. I... Every second you waste could mean a couple of good men getting shot. Now get up. With you here? Yeah, with me here. I don't know any more about this than you. As long as you're alive, they can't take the B-bar away from you. You said something about Clell Miller, my foreman. He was tied in with Nevers. You were next on their list. But if you safe someplace and me still around, Nevers can't make any kind of a move to give him permanent possession of the two ranges. Coker? Nothing yet. You're getting out of the territory. Angie, the train stops at the water tower at the top of the ridge. Get Miss Blake there. She can board it. It's the one chance you've got. Blaine, if you can hang on to the B-bar for me, I'll have a lot to thank you for. Never's gonna have to spread his boys out pretty thin to hold the B-bar. That's thanks enough for me. Lud Fuller was here. He's on your trail with five other men. Know any of them? Yeah, three are hired gunmen brought in by Rink. I'll know what to look for. Take care. You two are getting along fine. I'll get dressed. You have to make that train. We've been in the saddle nine hours. When are we going to bed down? That's what Blaine wants us to do. His horses will cave in, you know that. Sure, I know it. So does Blaine. But his horses are going to be just as tired as ours. Look, it'll mean a little extra riding, but it'll give us a chance to drop in on Blaine unexpectedly. Now, so far, you're giving the orders. We'll follow these tracks another hour. That wasn't aimed at us. <laughs> Watch our stuff. Shotgun could get both of you at once. Real easy. Where'd you two come from? 
Your tracks lead out of here. Rip, get the grub. Drop those gun belts. Back up by the river. I'm back up. as I go without grub. Johnson, Merrick, and me hired our guns you out You want to get paid? Well, Nevers will pay off for Blaine's hide and nothing else. What difference does it make if Blaine's alive or dead so long as Rick gets Joe Neal? You want to turn back? All right, go ahead. I got my orders the same as you. Let's have some ham, boys. We got plenty to spare. Boys, drop your guns, just so everything stays nice and friendly. You fellas must be plenty tired. We've been following you for the last three miles without you knowing. You said Rink went after Joe Neal. <laughs> By this time, Neal's probably dead, Blaine. Where does that leave you? Neal's no fool. Rink won't find him. Well, if he does, there'll be no heirs to the 46. It'll be open land for legal claims. Your papers won't mean a thing. Besides, you're going to have to answer for killing some honest citizens. Only one man besides myself knows where Joe Neal is. Fuller, you and your men are going to ride into Red Creek with us. <laughs> Red Creek? Are you trying to commit suicide? If I didn't need you, Fuller, I'd hang you now. Same as you tried to hang Joe Neal. Slow. The only way you could know that would be if you was there. Yeah, that's the only way. Now let's go. <laughs> you and Nevers. What happened? You showed Nevers my paper so he could find Joe Neal. Now, Blaine, please, listen, listen to me. If Joe Neal is dead, you helped kill him. No, 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 I didn't, I didn't. Nevers held a gun at my head. What, what could I do? <laughs> Rick, my boy, I know you're doing. I know I can depend on you. Should have seen Joe Neal's face when he saw me. <laughs> he turned green. Looks like he's going to die all by himself. <laughs> Well, boys, tomorrow we'll be the proud owners of the 46 Connected, and that's the finest range in this territory. That uh, fool, Altman, could have got himself a few acres. That was funny, he's here! <laughs>
shot Fuller. He came right at me. How did I know? How did you know? Oh, boys, that makes one man less to split the land with. Maybe you'd like the rest of us to get it like that, too. So you could wind up with all the 46, huh? Would you like that, Nevers? Don't be an idiot. You shot Fuller, I didn't. Davis, see if he's still alive. He is called a doc. Ortman was hit, wasn't he? That only leaves Blaine and Coker. We ought to be celebrating, not arguing. Who's arguing? Well, that's better. That's more like it. Because tomorrow we're going to do this thing up nice and legal. We'll send the vigilantes out there after Blaine. They'll get him. They'll hang him. Because he killed some of our people, and he's a murderer. And that means that you're not even going to have to try to draw against him. All right, folks, it's all over. There's no more shooting. Let's all get back in the bar, and Russ Nevers will buy the drinks. That's right, Nevers. You buy more drinks. You might get to need some friends. Gus, you can't ride much further. You better go on without me. They figure they got us now. No sense chasing us. We'll get you to Andrews. That was a slip up. Gus was shot. There's no other place we could take him. There's a spare cot in the basement. They might not look for him there. Careful of the steps. Get Doc out of town in the morning without anybody seeing us leave. He's going to need a doctor, you do. You wouldn't have a chance, Angie. Whole town full of Nevers men. All celebrating Joe Neal's death. The Neal is dead? Rink would have found him. Then it's over. Well, there's nothing to back you up now. <coughs> nothing. Oh, you talk quick, please. The land doesn't mean that much. Not anymore. You couldn't stay here either. I'll go with you. Rink Witter killed your father. You willing to forget that? You'd never rest. Oh. Bind him up, will you? What can you do now? I don't know. With Joe dead, everything's mixed up. Thought I had it all figured out. It never wherever I could, drive him out of the valley. You think that by still fighting, you can get that thousand head of cattle? That's something I've wanted all my life. I'm willing to earn it. My father thought about things the same way you do. He and I got along together just fine. All right, you tell. Whatever you want. If I don't first her off, he'll be all right. Take care of him, Angie. Better move along. Yeah. And if I have to see you? Oh, well, stay put for a while till we figure out something. Best place would be at Big Rock on Hammerclaw Ridge. That's where we'll be.
Miss Blake. You shouldn't have come back here. I have to get to Angie Kenyon's place. I've got a buckboard out back. You haven't seen me. Your father trusted me. You can, too. Aldo was different. With the mines booming, it was a case of men going crazy with too much money. Here they're going crazy because they want money so bad. This is worse. Whole town's scared. Scared clean through the marrow. Maybe they got a right to be scared. Think they got a right to stand by and watch men like Joe Neal and Gid Blake get murdered for what belongs to them? I don't know, you two. If I could answer things like that, I'd be sitting on a million dollars and getting drunk every night in the week. All right. Oh, he's burning up with fever. That's not why I came. Mary Blake's at my place. Is that woman crazy? Anybody know she's here? No. She had to come back, Utah. She was in El Paso when Joe Neal was shot by Rink. You told me she was going to Salt Lake. She had things to talk over with Neal. She was too late. Utah, she brought back news. You own half the 46 now. I own the other half. What are you talking about? Well, Mary saw Joe's lawyer. There was a will filed in El Paso. I was only doing a job for him. Why me? Mary said why. If anything happened to Joe, he wanted a man on the 46 who'd already lost the itch in his feet. A man who was ready to stay with the 46 as long as the land needs him. Joe could see things fast. I couldn't. I thought there'd always be a day when you'd have to take off again. It'll be dark in an hour, Angie. You better be getting back. Come back with me. Mary has some things to say. She knows you feel the same way Joe Neal did about the people here. She thinks you're wrong. Well, I'll listen to what she has to say. I'll put out the fire. Papers are filed in El Paso. Legal. You're another big ranch owner now, Blaine, not just a manager for Joe Neal. You hate the guts of every human being in Red Creek. You don't? I was born here. I know which ones can be decent if we give them the opportunity. You've been fighting alone up until now, Blaine. You've done more than can rightly be expected of any man. I'm obliged to you. And so are some of the people in Red Creek. But now the 46 is yours and Angie's. Nevers will try harder than before to kill you. Only if he knows about the will. Mary can tell you the ones who can be trusted. Gus needs a doctor. Tell Tom Corey. He can get to Doc Harrison's place. Gus, if you trust the wrong one, you could be found here and shot. I've never learned to be a lone wolf like you, Utah. I've learned to trust people. OK, Gus. Somebody's coming. Rider's coming. Better put the horses in the barn. Trouble? Get out in the back with Rip and stay there. Can you get down the stairs by yourself? Sure. We'll be right out front. I knew if we talked long enough, we'd find something we both liked.
Would that stop you from coming in? Always got the right answers. Mind if I look through the house? Someday you'll be unlucky enough to find Lane here. If you mean Blaine, I haven't seen him in weeks. Then that means he's starving to death. Don't it? those hills without help. And you can't get help any place except from you. You're still guessing. Seven men outside. All sworn in as vigilantes. We're the law. We never hung a woman before. But I don't think it takes any different kind of a rope. Fist, he was beat. He should have known. I'm going into town and see Tom Corey. No, not now. Not after what just happened. You said your friends would fight. All right, they'll get their belly full of it. Rip, you stay here till I get back. No. Rip, stop him. No. Gus was his friend, Angie. <sighs>
just came from Mary Blake. Is she all right? I don't know for how long. She's the only one who stands in Never's way. Well, you and her? Rink Whitter killed Ortman tonight. Well, that sneaking yellow livered killer. You know what's going to happen if I'm stopped. Mary's killed and Nevers gets control of the 46 in the B bar. Well, some of us know. Nevers will take control of everything. And we'll have to kiss the ground he walks on just for a handout. And even if we get rid of Nevers, it'll be more just like him coming along. There's only one way you can stop him. You gotta elect a mayor, a city council, and a marshal. Will you tell your friends that? I'll tell them. And Ray Forbes will help me. Forbes? The newspaper man. Oh, yeah. All right, tell them this. There'll be a meeting at Angie's tomorrow night. And make sure they know why. I guess you know we're all scared here, don't you? Well, maybe we'll get over it now. Keep off the street when you go. Okay. Here. We came here. I know, but it's only a question of time. We just have to wait. Anybody here shouldn't be? No. Forbes and Corey are late. Blaine, it's all over town now. Forbes here was in the saloon when it happened. Jug Davis let it slip. Nevers is going to start a roundup of the B-Bar stock in the morning. Then he's going to sell the cattle and split the money amongst his boys. Davis was celebrating already. It's piracy, sheer piracy. Come on in. Men, I had a lot of words to speak to you about what you can do to run your town. But it's too late for that now. Russ Nevers is having a roundup on the B-Bar tomorrow morning. Wow. And then he's taking the cattle to market. He can't oh, no. be that crazy. He knows I'm alive and I can protect my brand legally. Of course. Yeah, of course. They found Joe Neal. They figure they can find you. Blaine, this is the very height of things that Nevers has done. He can only have Mary Blake's murder in mind. And he isn't even trying to make it look legal with his confounded vigilantes. Yes, That's right. Right. I came out here knowing I'd have to face a showdown. I don't have to wait. I'm ready for it now. How many of you feel that way? Well, that's how we are. Count yeah, me right. in. Now it's the women. Next it's our kids. How do we know? How do we know what they'll do? That's right. That's right. Blaine, you name it. Well, never's a move against us, that's for sure. Can you set up your newspaper the way I want it and have it out the first thing tomorrow morning? By working all night. Fine. Maybe we can get Nevers to move the way we want him to. Yes, now that's good. Plan. Yes. Never should be right out. Maybe we should let him sleep. Maybe he's having dreams of owning the whole world, not just the B-Bar and the 46. He don't own anything. So as we finish this roundup, we'll take an hour share. That's just what I... Hey, Rink. a roundup. This came out early this morning. It's all over town. Maybe we'll hire out his new hands at the Indian Head Corral. All right, boys, we're going in.
Devers will show up? We'll know soon enough. Take him this long to get here from the B bar. It's quarter to ten. Tell the boys, will you? Is this it? Pass it along. All right, let's get them off the street. Off the street, Mrs. Anchor. Move fast now. Take the kids. Everybody, off the street. Off. Might be some trouble. Don't want anyone to get hurt. Everybody, find cover. That's what Mary and Angie stay put at Tom's place. It's gonna seem like a long wait. <laughs> Second time I've done that in the last five minutes. This is one bluff we're gonna have to make work. Horses. Nevers, where's everybody? I don't know. Something wrong. I don't like it a bit. There's your friend over there. Get busy with that pencil. Hello, Rick. I was wondering if you wanted to come in and go to work for me. Could be, Blaine. Could be. Where is everybody? Did they leave town? Can't tell. Glad you rode in, though, Nevers. Kind of wanted you and your men to leave the 46 and the B bar so we can put our men on. You what? Why, sure. Circulated the papers last night in Marvin Springs. Got us 50 new men this morning. They're out on the ranches now, in case you're thinking of riding back. Rip's just figuring up things. You're lying. Could be I am. Won't do you any good. You're not getting out of Red Creek. You're boxed in, Nevers.
out and see what a town looks like when it grows up. That's what this town's had, growing pains. Now what are you gonna do for excitement? 